Nah, man, stop the count. Stop the count. That right there might just be the best episode of What If ever. Like, they really didn't have to go this hard and they went this hard. Not only did this episode deliver us a brand new original superhero in Kaori, it gave us a very important and heartbreaking history lesson of colonialism. And the fact that most of this episode was told in Mohawk, they went crazy. So you know we got to talk about it. Quick warning that I am going to be recapping the entire episode and give you my honest spoiler filled thoughts of the episode. So if you're not trying to be spoiled, make sure you drop a like, follow, come back later because I need to hear that. We pick up this episode way before Odin ever took Tesseract to Earth as Surtur and Ragnarok came early. Hey, yo, he used it as his last ditch effort to try to stop Ragnarok from happening, but he was not successful and Asgard was destroyed. But with it, the Tesseract found its way to pre-colonized America. We pick up with a Mohawk village and two siblings, Kaori and Wata, as they run through their very breathtakingly beautiful land. The tragedy strikes as their village is put to flames and their people are captured by conquistadors. Kaori and Wata see this, but are discovered and end up running away into the forbidden land of the dangerously powerful lake that they were told to stay away from. When they fall through the ground into this cave-like system and discover the lake itself. But those conquistadors aren't too far behind. Kaori tries to distract them from getting her brother Wata, but gets shot in the process and falls into the lake, which of course contains the Tesseract. She gets transported to this beautiful land where she's greeted by this young man who says welcome to the sky world. As she wakes up from what she probably thinks is a fever dream, she's in a familiar place, but not quite. These shots are so beautiful. Turns out that young man's name is Atarax, as the Watcher explains that this is a people of Kaori's ancestor that fell into the lake and were gifted space stone powers. And I mean, can we just look at this shot? Come on. When she discovers her way out is through that portal in the sky. Back with her people, this man's trying to find the lake. Turns out that it's the fountain of youth. As he's about to kill one of them, his people come back with Wata, as they tell him that they found it. Meanwhile, Kaori is trying to do everything in her power to get up out of there. But Atarax tells her like it's impossible, like people have tried before. So she becomes one with people and tries to learn the sky people's way. They go on a hunt for a jewel-like fruit, and Gaudi's like, why do we need to hunt for fruit? Yeah, because it's fruit on the back of some giant-ass buffalo. But it turns out they can all run super fast with these space stone powers, and their goal is to jump on the back of these giant buffaloes and steal the space stone fruit. Gaudi accidentally pulls a flash and it's like, <laughs> and surpasses the buffalo. Out of necessity, she pulls one up to the sky, but is able to get more fruit than everybody else. As she comes back to her village with all this fruit, and oh my goodness, look at this shot. Back at the fountain of use, Gonzalo tells all of his Spanish soldiers to get up in there. As they slowly start getting sucked in one by one, Gonzalo is terrified. He's like, fuck this, let's go back to Spain and take the village people back with us. The soldiers do get transported into the land when they notice some celebration. Of course, Cahody and the Sky people are celebrating their wins. As they begin to shoot at them, Cahody stops the bullets with their newfound powers and says, get over here to them. And she notices her brother's necklace, takes it, and she begins to get super angry at not only the conquistadors, but the Sky people for hiding away and not helping out her people sooner. They had all this power and they did nothing about it. And through this, she gains so much power. She says, if I can't get through the poor I'm gonna bring the portal to us and we get another sick ass shot leaders. She begins to plead with the sky people to come help her save her people, but they're all hesitant. They're not warriors. They don't want to do war. Gaudi goes by herself and discovers that her village has been basically ravaged, burned down, and all of her people are gone. They're taking them to Spain. Truly heartbreaking stuff. But not until Cahody shows up, they begin to fire up. But she begins mopping the sand with them until they start shooting cannonballs at her. And it's a, too much at one point she gets hit in the face. And Gonzalo's about to kill her. She looks like she's defeated. But Gonzalo looks up and schmack. The sky people begin to help. As Atarax tells Cahody that she was right. Everything she said was true. And they begin to help her. Cody buries Gonzalo into the damn sand. Shot is tough. As she gets to the boat where her family is, frees her brother and gives him back his necklace. She successfully liberated her people and stopped the Spanish conquistadors. But she knows this won't end here. To so go back to Spain with the queen basically furious, like, who did this? Who did this? As boom, a portal shows up. The queen's like, what the hell? And Gaudi's over here speaking Spanish. She's like, look, I'm here to stand on business. You asked who did this? I did. But it's really just asking for a peace treaty. Like, the land is not yours or mine for the taking. Of course, the queen is pissed off. So, you know, you gotta shake someone a little bit to get them sent into him. But then, out of nowhere, another portal shows up and it's strange the prince saying that he's been looking for Coyote for a very long time. Look, man, I don't know about you, but I thought this episode went crazy. Not only is it one of the most visually stunning what if episodes I've ever seen, it gave us a history lesson on the dangers of colonialism, how that actually went down back in the day, and how sticking with your people and choosing them over yourself brings glory. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, like and follow for more.